This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. I'm sure you might have seen the best security systems in real life and in movies, but the security system that I have designed for you guys is going to blow your mind as it's completely invisible. If you're thinking about lasers and hidden cameras, then you are absolutely wrong because those are detectable. My invisible security system is not physically visible. It can be inside this wall or it may be inside one of these drawers or maybe inside this cupboard. So how anyone can break such a security system that's not physically visible, undetectable by infrared glasses, night vision cameras, etc. So this makes my design security system unbreakable. Anyway, right now the security system is installed in my workshop and I asked my brother and cousins to go and steal something from my workshop without being detected by the security system. I used my cell phone application to activate the security system. Just with a single click, I can enable and disable my invisible security system. Now, this is a very powerful feature. I don't have to physically approach the security system in order to enable it or disable it. They tried multiple times and tried different techniques, but they were unable to break the invisible security system. Anyway, I deactivated my invisible security system using my cell phone and I told them to search for it. As expected, they searched all the drawers. and they even search for it behind the TV. They were also looking for any holes. I guess they might have been expecting something similar to a PIR sensor or infrared sensor or ultrasonic sensor etc. Anyway, at the time they were searching for the security system, they completely ignored this box and you won't believe it, it's inside this box. You can see there are no holes and no one is going to expect that there is something inside this box that can actually detect the movements. Anyway, the sensor that I have used for building this invisible security system uses microwaves and you know very well microwaves can penetrate through walls wood sheets, cardboard sheets, etc. Instead of keeping this security system inside this box, I can fix it anywhere. Let me open this box and explain how I built this invisible security system. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. 
design, shear and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultim 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts, etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer. Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. I'm using the Gravity Digital Microwave Sensor V2.0 from the DF robot. This microwave sensor is able to detect objects without any physical contact. Its readings are not affected by temperature humidity, noise, air, dust or light which makes it suitable for harsh environments. This sensor also has strong resistance to radio frequency interference. Due to its low output, it's not harmful to the human body. Since this sensor uses microwaves and you know microwaves have a wide detection angle and velocity equal to the speed of light, this digital microwave sensor also supports non-life class object detection. I have already used it with Arduino, so for more technical specifications and basic things you can watch that video, I will add a link in the description. This time round, I am using this digital microwave sensor with ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and I am using the Synric Pro cell phone application for monitoring. So basically, it is an IoT based invisible security system and by the way, if you have never used the Cinderic Pro IoT platform then I highly recommend watching my getting started video on the Cinderic Pro IoT platform. You can find a link in the description. Anyway, let's go ahead and start with the circuit diagram. The circuit diagram is very simple. You can see the output of the microwave sensor is connected to the digital pin D5 of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module while the plus 5 volt and ground pins are connected to the ESP8266 3.3 volt in ground pins. On the top left side is the regular 5 volt power supply based on the LM7805 linear voltage regulator. J1 is the DC female power jig and this is where we connect a 12 volt adopter or a battery. If you want to use a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery or 3.7 volt LEVO battery then there is no need to add this 5 volt power supply. The reason I have added this 5 volt regular power supply is that this is a development board and I use it for testing my ESP8266 based projects and mostly I use 12 volt adopters or my designed 4S and 3S lithium ion battery packs. I've got plenty of these battery packs so for the demonstration purposes I'm going to use this 3S lithium ion battery pack. If you want to make the same 3S and 4S lithium ion battery packs then you can watch my video. I will add a link in the description. Anyway, I connected my digital microwave sensor as per the circuit diagram and now let's start with the Cinderic Pro setup. The Cinderic Pro setup I have already explained in my previous video. So if you don't understand any of these steps then you can watch my getting started video on the Cinderic Pro. Our device is ready and now we will connect it to Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. For this we will use the device ID, Ape Key and Ape Secret in the programming. For this start by copying the device ID. Open the programming and paste it next to the motion sensor ID. 
follow the same exact steps for the ape key and ape secret. You can download this entire project code from my website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Before uploading the program, first of all, make sure you select the correct Node MCU module and also make sure you select the correct communication port. Finally, click on the upload button and wait for a while. While the code is uploading, let me tell you one thing. You will also need to install the Cinderic Pro library. I have already explained this in my previous video. You can see the code has been uploaded and now let's go back to Centric Pro. You can see one device is online and now if I move my hand it will detect my movement and here it is, it just detected me. Now you can use this Centric Pro computer dashboard for monitoring as well but it seems impractical I prefer using the Centric Pro cell phone application. Download and install the Centric Pro cell phone application and log in with your registered email ID and that's it. We'll get a ready-made app. You don't have to do any settings. If you want to make any changes, you can go back to your Cinderic Pro dashboard. Any changes you will make in the dashboard will automatically reflect on the Cinderic Pro mobile application. Anyway, you can see I have powered up my invisible security system. Right now, my cell phone and ESP8266 both are connected to Wi-Fi. You can see right now the sensor is detecting my movements but on the cell phone I am not receiving any notifications or alerts and this is because right now it is disabled. So I am going to turn it on. Now you can see the notification. Isn't it cool? Of course it is. Now I can monitor my workshop from any part of the world so if in case I receive any notifications I can call my brother to go and check if there is someone so that's all for now support me on patreon for more videos I hope you like today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching